Yeah, family, I checked my food in. It's good. It's not ready yet. It's not ready yet. Let's talk about this, man. When you feel you are being watched or gang stalked, here is the things that I would suggest you do in order to in order to keep living a peaceful life or like to keep your balance and not trip off Africa. Um, first thing first, we're all being watched. Like no matter who you are, you, like we're all being watched in that in that in this plan on this planet. We're all being watched. If anything, we're being watched by, first of all, our 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 higher selves. You know, because the, we are the same. We are our we are higher. We are our higher selves, but we are separated from it. I mean, somehow we are separated. The separation is an illusion, though. But this illusion is created in order for um, your higher self to make you raise um, your lifestyle, your knowledge, your wisdom, your energies, the energies that you embody in order to merge with that higher self. And your higher self as a higher self. So you got a lot of higher selves out there. Not only that you have higher selves, you have parallel selves. Okay, I'm not going to talk about that. It's not the subject of the video. Um, when you feel that you're being watched, yeah, first of all, we're all being watched, and we're being watched by our higher self, our guides, you know, spirit guides, um, guardian angels, archangels, um, we're being watched by, um, we could say, um, the visitors of this earth, right, these are, um, uh, like, collectives, I could say, like societies you know that have visited earth for since the dawn of time man eh? since the dawn of time this planet has been an interesting intersection where a lot of species that do not come from this planet um uh, visit because have been visiting because not only that it allows not only that it provides everyone with a playground to master themselves on an extreme level because listen, not all planets are this ghettoish like Earth. Earth is is really ghettoish, I mean. It's, it's listen, <laughs> listen. It's not the it's not the nicest place to live in the universe. Earth is not the nicest place to live in the universe. Even though it's beautiful, but there there are more beautiful planets than Earth. There, I mean, I'm talking about the the nature, right? There are more beautiful planets out here, but there are planets that make you feel lighter gravity is not so hard like gravity i don't know i don't remember the number the mathematical number that they assign to it but um there are planets other planets out here when when you are there when you're over here you feel lighter there are also other planets where you feel heavier so it's all diversity out there and if by expressing myself in those terms you're already thinking Oh, this guy is crazy because now he's referring to the extraterrestrials and aliens and shit like that. Let me tell you something. You really think that in this vast, infinite cosmos, this planet is the only place that we, as weird human beings, exist? Really? You really think that? And you think that based on what? Based on your scientific studies? Based on what? Based on what? Based on what? Now, you know, they're already thinking, okay, where is the proof? Bro or sister, I don't need any proof. <laughs> I'm not going to tell you why I don't need any proof. It's just logics. Yeah. It's just common sense, y'all. It's like you came into a neighborhood. There are like, I don't know, let's say 5,000 buildings or 5,000 houses in that neighborhood. And you think the little house over there is the only house that has people in it <laughs> for real <laughs> i don't think you're dead I, I, okay I, I don't know i don't know i'm not gonna like say stuff that go that's going to trigger your intellect but anyway um everybody's being watched because this planet is not the interest of only the human beings or what we could call the higher ups of human societies 
and trust me in this thing we call the matrix the higher the higher hops or the elites right they don't even have to do much in order for the this 3d matrix to sustain itself you know why because we as humans okay i'm not gonna say we uh, they as humans still maintain a lot of subconscious agreements that keep this 3d matrix which is already broken by the way it's, it's been broken a long time ago many years ago actually <laughs> it, it's been broken many years ago People that are in the know, they know what I'm talking about. It's been broken many years ago. I'm not talking about one, two, three, four years ago. I'm not talking about five years ago. I'm not talking about even six years, even seven years ago, y'all. Let me see. Yeah, it's been broken even like way, like way back. And you know why it seems like it still prevails now? It's like we still see stuff in, you know... Um, the way we, I mean not we but most people still see stuff still behave in this broken outdated way because they still maintain their beliefs listen the real boss of this planet the real bosses are the human beings themselves because they are by being the majority by being the I'm gonna say the crushing majority they crush i mean okay they do not crush but they by being the majority and by maintaining this egregore stuff this i mean when i say this egregore stuff i'm talking about this reality you know things being external to you you having enemies you know and all types of shit by him by them maintaining this illusion the matrix has no choice but to keep existing for them and because they are the majority, well, the minorities, because I'm not going to say the minority because it's not a single group, it's not a single community. The minorities right now have no choice but to leave, separate from them. They are separating frequencies, they are separating lifestyles, they are separating... In in the way they express themselves, they are separating many things. They are separating many things. And I remember, yeah, I remember it. I remember that. I, I, I could talk about that. I was in Cuba. And I, I went out for a walk. And I was delighted, man. Like, I, li, 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 listen. Most times when I express myself in these videos, it's like I don't like people, but I'm going to say this, man. I love people. And I like observing them. I like, like, just, I don't know. I, I like just going for a walk, maybe just go biking and just looking at people, man. People are beautiful, like, at least externally, right? Or even internally. Like, I can see their internal beauty. And I can also recognize their external beauty. Even when they themselves do not recognize, do not perceive that beauty. And I, I, I went for a walk. And I got approached by a guy. And he thought I was looking for ladies. Because the way I was walking, you know, I had my headphones on and shit. It was like, man, this guy walking in those streets at this time, he was late. It was like, this nigga is looking for the sex workers and shit like that. And he came to me and he was like, what's up? I mean, he spoke Spanish, and it was like, "How are you? I mean, how you doing? Uh, you're looking for the women. You're looking for the women." And because I'm so curious, and because I'm, it's like I am a scientist at core. It's like I'm always experimenting. I'm always studying. And I told him, "Yeah, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm looking for the for the women." And he told me, "All right, cool." And he showed me where to go. And when I got there, he wasn't really far. When I got there, I saw the women. And as I was walking on the sidewalk, I noticed that I believed it was only one that called me. You know how, I mean, when I say call, I'm talking about, 
hey sweetie or hey sweetheart hey darling hey honey come here you know it was only one of them all the rest of them just looked at me they weren't surprised they weren't but they felt some kind of irritation they felt I mean they were tensed you know they felt some kind of tension I did not know I did not understand at the time I did not understand why there was such a thing I mean why they felt that tension because I was just looking I was just walking by and looking at beautiful women you know and I wasn't judging them in my mind not at all I was just looking at their tattoos and shouting like man these are beautiful gorgeous women and I wasn't interested in like having sex with them or anything I don't do that by the way I don't go out and look for people to have sex and shit like that it's it's not I don't know it's uh, it's not my stuff <laughs> it's not my stuff and the sun is really bright like, I like it and they felt the tension and I could even say they felt some type of not only tension but the ones that did not call me I remember one precisely she was young And she was bold and she tried to like like trick me or anything she come you know to talk aggressively with me and I was like hold on like you know like I reacted with I mean I interacted with her making her understand that I'm not one of okay I look young but I'm not one of those guys I'm not the one you can just come and you know just trick with your beauty or with your aggressivity like I'm not one of those guys. Actually, I don't want no smoke from you. It's like, I don't want no smoke from you. I just want to, like, I just want to be around. <laughs> like, I just want to be around. I'm just passing by, but at the same time, I'm just, I'm just, I just enjoy being around you. Like, don't feel tensed. Don't feel frustrated. Don't feel stressed. Don't feel anxious because I'm around. Just be chill. But I understood after that night that... Not only that these people are, I mean, these women were, they felt some type of insecurity while I was walking by. But at the same time, it's like they wanted to feel, I mean, they wanted this type of control over their, themselves. When I say control over themselves, I'm not saying that they do not control themselves, but society, because it's so, society is so ruthless. It's really ruthless. Society is ruthless, y'all. And sex workers only exist, most of them, most of them only exist because of the ruthlessness of society. And while I was walking by, I could feel that, like, they do not enjoy being watched by me, even though I did not have any bad attention for them, but at the same time, they wanted the freedom that they felt was emanating from me, or the sense of not needing them or not being controlled by their beauty or some, you know, by their sensuality and, st and stuff like this. And to get back to what I was saying, if you're being watched, if you feel like you're being watched, just like I was watching this woman, you might feel anxious, you might feel frustrated, you might feel that like you're being violated. Actually, it's a type of violation. It's a type of violation. If it's not your higher self watching you, if it's not your higher, like, your guys or guardian angels, it's a type of violation, plain blame, period. It is. But, really, you cannot do anything about it. You can't. I would suggest you, if you feel like you're being constantly, because there are people, they feel watched just for some period, and that's it. They don't feel watched constantly. And there are, there are people, I'm talking from experience, there are people from the day they were born, y'all, they feel they are being watched. 
I'm not talking in the negative sense but they feel that there are not one but several groups of beings that are watching them and some beings watch you in order to protect you some beings watch you in order to monitor your growth they want you to grow but they will do certain stuff in order to make it either easy for you I mean easier for you or to make it harder for you that's solely based on your personality what type of character you have if you have a heart I mean if you if you are really I mean stubborn they could try and make it harder for you in order to realize certain stuff but if you are something if you are someone that is too innocent that is too naive that is too gullible and by the way a lot of what we could call the extraterrestrial races the ones that are positive the ones that are progressive they are really gullible innocent naive because listen when you progress in spirituality when you reach a certain point where okay let me just say this because this might resonate with more people when you live in 5d when you're living in a society where there is free energy you're living in 5d there is no crime like there is no jealousy there is no envy it's not a ghetto you're meditating as much as you want without people trying to like you know do stuff to you you know it's not a it's not a power contest where people are trying to square up their powers with you and shit like that you become a really 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 light and because you stay in the vibration for a long time you won't believe that on you won't believe that there are planets like earth <laughs> you won't believe that you won't believe that and a lot of empaths actually a lot of empaths yeah they resonate with that a lot of empaths are resonating as a motherfucker as i'm saying these words they are resonating they are vibrating with the words right now because they feel their real life they have been too much gullible too much naive and it's put them in dangerous situations and i'm talking from experience here and when you are vibrating that high you have to protect yourself even when you are protected the universe itself will put you in situations where you have to realize bro or sister you too bright as a light to be messing with this type of people or with this type of communities or with this type of situations lock yourself up somewhere be unavailable be secretive until now you should be secretive even now in 2023 you should be secretive you should lock yourself up you should isolate yourself you should do stuff like in mystery because it's sad but it's 2023 and it's sad but people are still vibrating in that outdated frequency therefore you have to protect yourself because you're too bright when you feel you're being watched that's what i wanted to say first you have to adopt a lifestyle that is unfoulable like people cannot foul you people cannot foul you you have to control your mind the thoughts that you are emitting outside you have to control them if you have bad thoughts let them go you have good thoughts nurture them right you have to control your se se sexuality because the communities or the beings that are watching you they're watching you and they have things that give them access to visualize okay to observe certain things visually in your energetic field right therefore they know a lot of things about you that probably you don't even know yet they know stuff about your sexuality they know stuff about your chakras they know stuff about your mindset your mentality that you do not even know yet so if you're watching them i would suggest you do this build a schedule for yourself meditate learn to study yourself document yourself if you've had a bad feeling during during the day about certain stuff when you go home I write it down i had a bad feeling it was this time of the day i was in that space there were these types of people around 
You know, stuff like this. Document yourself, yo. Document yourself. I don't like, I mean, I like being, I like doing these videos on the window, but it's, it's always some type of bullshit going around, y'all. Like, I don't like it. Yeah, so document yourself. Document yourself, you know. Put, take notes. Take good notes. Document yourself. Be honest with yourself. Write your qualities. Write your defects. The defects in your personality. You know, if you're arrogant, write it down. I am arrogant. How do I go from arrogant to just being, like, just bold? Just factually authentic. It's not arrogance. It's just that, okay, I'm that guy. Or I'm that being. You know, a lot of people are arrogant. And most people that are arrogant, they lack some type of softness that is unbreakable that's a paradox right it's soft but it's unbreakable they lack some type of i'm not gonna say humility because it's not really humility they lack some type of godly smallness it's like you know that you are so small this is when you enter the realm of the quantum world right the quantum universe you know that you are both the macro, but at the same time, you are small, infinitesimal. This is the word, infinitesimal. Like, you are like the infinitesimal like element in the universe. You're very, 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 very small. Therefore, you don't take yourself so seriously. You learn to joke about your, I mean, on yourself. You, you learn to mock yourself. You know, you go about life being happy about anything and everything because you know this thing right here is just a circus. It's just a game, right? But at the same time, you know that your experience is the realest thing ever. No matter, like, no matter how many times you've, you've heard that we're living in a matrix, let me tell you this. In the matrix, there are real things. And those things are your essence. Your ego. Yes, your ego is real. You could lose it, but it's real. Uh, what, what, what did I say? Your, es your, your, your essence, your ego, your true authentic self. Or I could say your intellect, which is not your true authentic self, by the way, but it's part of it. Um, that's three things already, right? Your, your emotions, the things you feel when you're going through an experience, those are real things. Your verdict about a certain experience, those are real things. Those are real things. So you should take notes of these things because when you leave this dimension, the only real things that you will carry with yourself are those things. The feelings you have grown for yourself or in people. The emotions you have nurtured. The thoughts you have developed. The definitions you have brought up. It's all these things. It's all these things. You don't go with your wealth, your material wealth. The only wealth that you have is, is yourself. And you are building your soul in this dimension. Your soul is buildable. It's constructible. You know, you are building your, your soul. So build your soul as elegantly and excellently as possible. Build your soul like on a genius level. Take your time. If you feel you're being watched, watched, take your time. Like, document yourself, build a schedule, right? Build a schedule. And you could also tap into the energies that are watching you by way of meditating, by way of going inward and learning more about yourself. The more you learn about yourself, the more you will learn about anyone that is watching you. I'm telling you, I'm, I'm, I'm saying these things from experience. And don't forget, not everybody or not every being, not every community that is watching you wants bad things for you. Because your protector should watch you. Your guide should watch you. You know, they should watch you. You know, if, if somebody commissioned or... No, okay, I'm not going to say commissioned me. But if somebody gave me the responsibility to bring a wealth to you. If somebody gave me $10 million to bring to you, I should watch you. In order to know where you are 
I mean, it will bring you the money. So not everyone that is watching you actually wants bad things for you. Sometimes they are bringing you more of the things that you need in order to grow. I think I'm gonna make a part two for that video because I have not said all the things that I wanted to say because you know I have, I have some stuff to take care of right now. Peace out, y'all. Stay peaceful. If you feel you're being watched, don't freak out. Don't freak out. Watch yourself. Watch yourself. This will lower the anxiety on a very like like on a satisfactory level. You will be satisfied with that level. You will still know that they're watching you, but you'll be alright. You'll be alright. So if you still being if you feel you're being watched, watch yourself, document yourself, build a certain schedule, learn to change your habits into better habits. Learn to be like imagine that. Imagine you had the best student or you were watching the best student, the best individual on earth when it comes to your lifestyle or the lifestyle that you aspire to have. You have to live just like that person, that imaginary student. You have to live ideally according to the highest ideals in your world because everybody has, have, has different ideals. Anyway, y'all, I'm out.